Yes, live plants. Little, little kind of treat came through the post before the good stuff though. That's some bloody bad stuff, man. Oh, wait on, shut, shut that boot all in one go. This video is just going to be one of those. No editing at all. So I've been on night shift and this is my first day off and I've slept like a baby. <laughs> baby thinking everything's fine in the garden now wakes up about I don't know about four o'clock there in the afternoon well, it's about six there now and little email off Steve green side up hey Tony it's gonna to be some nasty weather cold dropping to five six degrees I checks my weather app well, even one of them is seeing four degrees <laughs> You are joking, you're kidding me. So um, I'm debating whether to fleece up and just be, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the fleece and I might just put, you know what I mean? I've got, these are all the kind of, the vulnerables. Actually they could do with a little water. Yeah, give them a little water. So like I say, it's gonna be, all in one go so we'll go to the just get the water out the way first what i'm gonna do i think god it's itchy nose walking through cobwebs is what color what color come on tell us what color your green system for the polytunnel oh i think i'm gonna get some fleece i'm not gonna fleece the tomatoes <laughs> if i lost all the taking tomatoes man i'm not gonna let do the tomatoes but I might do like up there along there let's just give these a nice little soak so that's the beauty of having like gardening friends you know what I mean just looking out for you and just making sure I don't have to water them water that water that Like I said, I was thinking everything was golden, to be honest. And especially when I've done night shift. I'm kind of not in the most <laughs> natural mindset. You know what I mean? Kind of awake or not. I'm all kind of, you know, it's a hideous thing, to be honest. We only do two, we only do two night shifts. But it's got us, <laughs> I don't recover well from it. So... Right, I'm just having a look. Right, I go and get, I go and get the fleece. I think what I'll do is just lie it over the top and over, you know the peppers I got from B&Q? I think I'll just lie it over that and then see how, as, no, it's not, oh, I need, do I need, yeah I need pots as well show you why pots and little live plants right I'll use them once I think Bacons. I don't know I don't know how many pots of plants I've got <laughs> I'll take a few be cheeky so in here is my fleece all put away nice and neat actually it's that one and I want the 30 gram Get up there, man. Come on. How much is the of the picking thing? <laughs> this is bloody thing. I can't believe I'm fleecing. But, I mean, it feels gorgeous. It's ideal, but you can never, never tell. Right up, oh, catching me. Catching me. Let's see. Let's really look at this. Well, chuck them pots down there. See, because I've got. Look at this, man. How weird, torn man. Put the, pull it together. Right, I'll put you over here, so you can see what I'm doing. Better turn you the right way as well. That might help. Oh, listen, that horrible sound of the camera. Right. I mean, I've got enough of it 
see I, I would have fleeced but like I say I've put the I'll put a bit over it's the peppers I'm worried about I don't think that I don't think anything will come to it but I'd be kicking myself if I'd get in the heads up and I didn't do anything like you see I'm still still hot <laughs> shall I put them if I lose every tomato right I've still got these little ones here so I'll put them Just put these tenders. Do you think? Just, just to be honest here, because six you probably get away. Four might just. Give it a little punch, you know what I mean? Like I say, I think the tomato should be all right. Saying that, wasn't it Steve that got that cool shock with the tomatoes? You kind of brutal when it happens to you, you know what I mean? You just feel gutted and like, oh, right, I've shut that door and I need to get. One second, get me, get me keys. All locked up, messed up with me mask, me <laughs> COVID mask. Right, I just need a knife just to open me parcel. Right, well, nicely organised in there, as long as I keep that well and tidy. Eh? <laughs> Man, it's lovely. Oh, be fat, tell you what, I'll just put that there, that knife. Take a deep breath. So when you're walking and talking, it's like being on the phone, it's a bit, gets you out of breath. Plus, the <laughs> I'm walking down here because I want to show you something. Look, I was, it would have been lovely to come up and help. Yeah, well, that's what Mark's got there, look at all that, bloody hell. Oh, there's a new frame going up there, Mark, lad. What? What's he got there? But I'm coming to show you Mick's garden. I don't think Mick's in. But look, plastic is on. Now that's my they're my pipes tubing from the last one. So I love that man, it's getting like recycled. And he's waited perfectly for the right time to get it done. It looks like a drum. On the top there, look at that lovely pattern, like stretched over. I seen that from the car when I came in. So, oh man, excellent, excellent, excellent. Can't have enough polytunnels, more plastic. <laughs> so, yes, let's go back up there and just have another look at Mark's. What's he got? Like a bloody tent. Mark said he actually got a little bit stung with the cold as well. He's got some heat in one of the greenhouses. But the other one, where he had a lot of stuff, got a, just a couple of weeks ago, you know, it was a bit precarious. I'll tell you what, knock. No, I'll leave that on, because I'll, I'll need it. Right, right, this is the good. The cold temperatures are the bad ones. Let's just... Put this here, get it locked in, just so I can fasten these to the gate to show you. Here we go. Now, look, I'll just hide my address there. First class, live plants handled with care. Now, this has come from Ian, who I don't know if it's hard to say or not, who owns Grow Locally, who supply. And I've got to do a video because Ian sent us all loads of gear over. The supply like microgreens to the kind of restaurant area around in Scotland where he lives. And it was Ian that showed us a picture 
of his peppers kept in a perfect environment <laughs> and they were like what I would expect <sighs> September my plans to be you know what I mean they just were like it's all like critically controlled and everything but but I got a little email off Ian so Ian <laughs> you just keep sending them lad <laughs> let's have a look I've even brought up my fancy compost again this clover and I've got none up here and this is the wife's for the the house plant or the plants to go in the garden oh, look at that. It's a proper box as well oh, oh. I'll tell you what we'll put you down so you can see, you can see it a bit better let's have a look all right like you see I'm not editing it's so all just going be bloody 30 minutes long this thing right oh, look at <laughs> there are no gardening mistakes only experiments Janet Kilburn Phillips right let's have a look I've sent over a variety of plug plants that have been growing oh look at that man currently running trials on variable growing vegetable plug plants for growers throughout the UK as an addition to what I currently grow at local grow local grown local let's see if they reach the safe so that's have a little check on grown local like I say he does all these in all these micro oh look at that I searched high and low for that kind of a system to send out my stuff Oh, I'll tell you what's on there. Pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, zucchini, yellow golden, watermelon, got you in there, pea, calvedon, got calvedon wonder, cucumber burpless, climbing bolotto bean. Oh man! In right now, how do I get in to that? Let's see what this oh look at that. Let's get them. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm chuffed a bit. Right, I need to get them in some soil. Right, so I'll get my pots. So I'm not sure if Ian's going to be sending, like, if we can buy these from him or they're kind of for, like, I guess for gardeners, I would have thought. I don't know if it's for, like, market gardens or something oh, I'm sure you let us know that's been a bit of a failure <laughs> right let's get six plants now these will need love and care as well right, tell you what I'll move you again put your back up here Can I do it? Come on! Can you see? Right. Oh, I've just noticed. Now that is clever, Ian. I'll give you that, man. Get back up. Get the old lad back up. Because I was wondering which which plant was which. Do you know what I mean? I knew there was a kind of list, but impregnated into the plastic is like say C, B, A, you know the alphabet, and then it's done on their pumpkin, so A is the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. That, that there, this packaging's perfect in. Send us some for next year. <laughs> That's that's golden sunshine <laughs> right i can safely put them on them seeds because they'll not be germinating right so like i say all year all this season i've been using this apart from i ran out a little bit the other day but i've been using this clover see what it's like Everyone's been raving about it, so... Right, 
Now one's a P. See, one like a one P. <laughs> I'll put it in. <laughs> oh, I've got to get my labels up now. Oh, this could turn out really long. Right, right, none. Yep, I'm just going in here. I'll actually do just dead quick labeling. Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll just do A, B, C and keep the box for now so you don't have to watch us do it. So, oh. right. So, A, and I put that in there, make it well, get A out. A is the jack o' lantern, and I haven't got any pumpkins in there, lad, so. Get that in there. Right. B was the zucchini. Ho ho ho. Like I say, I'm going to label these up properly, but I'm just going to keep Ian's thing. B. Should recycle that and <laughs> send it next year. <laughs> right, what was C was a watermelon. Now can I that would be nice if I could grow one of them. That was C. Right, D was a P, the... I think it'll be that one. Yeah. I haven't put any P's in this year, to be honest. I'm just planting it, because, you know, it's good. It's come, like a plug plant. Right. Cucumber burpless E. The way my cucumbers were looking in, I probably need it. E. And the final one is, I think it's a bean, isn't it? Climb bean, but I can mix this in with my other ones, to be honest, which are coming up. E, F, man, as they say, golden, oh, as I've started, I have started that, I've seen it, right, I'll take these in, give me a little water, and then protect them, let's put them down there, turn you around a little bit, oh, <laughs> oh, The soil's nice and warm as well, so give us a gentle water. Just to stop that nip of that frost. There you go, can you? <laughs> so there you go. Who would have thought it? Who would have thunk it? Fleecing, middle of May, and some nice free from Grown Local. I'll put a link to Ian's thing. Like I say, he sent over some 
<laughs> stuff that I've got to do a video for you. I'm going to do it. But that was very kind of him. Ian, thank you very much. Look after yourselves. Take good care.